What's going on everybody? This is Living in Arizona now and today we're coming to you from Cottonwood in Yavapai County, the Birdie Valley. Cottonwood is the main economic hub of the entire Verde Valley with a population of around 12 to 15,000 people. Surrounding areas such as Camp Verde, Clarkdale, Cornville, the entire Verde Valley has 130,000 people with Cottonwood being the primary economic hub. In this tour, we're going to walk around the downtown historic area, show you guys what's going on down here. It is taking an overhaul and has been seeing a renaissance of a boom actually here in the last 20 years or so. Between the growth of Prescott and the Verde Valley, this area is probably going to be the fastest growing county in the state of Arizona for quite some time due to the uh, population explosion that is taking place and continues to expand. All right, so let's get out of the car and take a look around this historic district here in Cottonwood, show you what some of these shops look like, take a look at some of these cafes and the saloons. But before we begin this tour, if you're new to this channel, Living in Arizona Now, and you like to live in Arizona and know what's going on, you can consider subscribing to this channel. And if you turn on that notification bell, you'll get a notification every time we drop a new video. All right, so as you can see, they've got some natural rock work, which is always an indication of historic Arizona because that's how the Native Americans did it. And then the settlers who came, the miners, they were always into building out of rock. And when in downtown Cottonwood, you can expect to do some shopping, some old vintage antique stuff, Go back in the mining days, pick up some rocks. They have a lot of geodes and minerals around here in their stores. And also some local artisans that you can check out their galleries. One thing that's really popular across Cottonwood and the entire Verde Valley is wine tastings. So if you like that fermented grape juice, be sure to come up to the Verde Valley in Cottonwood. Maybe even stay a night or two and explore some of these wineries. The climate up in Cottonwood is high desert, around about three to 4,000 feet in elevation, depending on what part of the Verde Valley you're in, meaning that the temperatures are a bit cooler than Phoenix, five to 10 degrees on average. Which, although here in the summer, Cottonwood has been seeing 100 plus days, so many triple digit days. And in the winter time, it just barely gets cold enough to snow, to dust. A little bit of snow here and there all around the Mingus Mountain and the Black Hills. So I would say it's more of a Mediterranean climate. Another big draw to the Verde Valley, aside from its Mediterranean climate and a little bit cooler temperatures, is the home prices. So home prices up here can be below $200,000 for a brand new home. I've even seen listings for under $100,000 across the Verde Valley. Now I'm not gonna guarantee you a mansion for that price, but hey, the prices up here in Cottonwood are fairly priced and that's a big draw. And you do get hilltop views overlooking the Birdie River most of the time.
Cottonwood certainly has a laid back feel and that's what people really appreciate about coming up here to escape the Phoenix hustle and bustle of the megatropolis down below. There is some public transportation, but for the most part, you're gonna need a car up here. It is fairly walking friendly though, but because it's a spread out little area, having an automobile is best. Also, the most major airport is down in Phoenix at Sky Harbor. So there is a smaller airport in Sedona that you may use, but for the most part, you'll need to use Sky Harbor if you need to fly in and out of here. Gotta love those antiques, don't you? Never know what you may find up in here. I did mention those geos and those rocks that you can explore, the petrified wood, which comes from the petrified forest if you want to get that fossilized wood. Some chrysocolla, turquoise, malachite, onyx, travertine, you name it. You can find it all on this corner store here, which is pretty cool. Really friendly couple owns this place, so if you go in there, you'll feel pretty happy about your decision to check out these rocks. It's like a rock show inside their store there. The name of this particular rock gallery or rock shop, if you want to call it that, is Jim and Ellen's Rock Shop. There you go. We sell a lot more than just rocks there. American Indian jewelry and pottery, Western metal art, and Southwest rugs. So I'd say take a look when you're up here. a look at one of the neighborhoods and then when you're done go explore Clarkdale Jerome or head over to Tuzagut in 
take a look at some Native American archaeology sites from the Sanaguan people.